This is a demonstration of Landsweeper's integration with Cortex XSOL. Landsweeper is the industry leader in device discovery, providing agentless, credential free, and credential based device recognition, identification, and asset management across all connected IT, OT, and IoT. The Landsweeper Content Pack for Cortex XSOR will allow users to search for specific assets, providing detailed information about each asset, such as type, operating system, serial number, and much more contextual information. This content pack includes three commands and one use case playbook. Let us start with the integration configuration parameters. First, the user needs to authenticate themselves by providing an application identity code. I am stepping through this process for the demo on screen now, but for detailed information on how to retrieve the application identity code, please refer to the integration tips and documentation where we have described this in detail. So now let's start by executing commands. The first command is ls site list command. It will retrieve the sites authorized for the configured application identity code. This command does not have any argument, so let's execute it. We are displaying site ID and site name, and the site ID is the primary key. Moving to the next command, which is ls ip hunt command. It will retrieve the asset based on the IP address provided by the user. The military argument here is IP, which supports multiple comma separated values. Non-military arguments include site ID and limit. Let's execute this command using multiple values. Here we are displaying name, domain, username, user domain, FQDN dis description type, IP address, MAC address, model, manufacturer, serial number, SKU, site name, first seen, and last seen. It will display the site by the site which we have allowed in the application identity code. This is all the context data for IP. The last command is lsmac hunt. LS Mac Hunt command will return the asset based on the MAC address provided by the user. The military argument here is MAC address, which supports multiple comma separated values. The non-military argument includes site ID limit, so let's execute without giving non-military argument. Executing with multiple values for Hunt Mac I command. Here is the context data for Mac Hunt. Now let's move to the use case playbook. The playbook retrieve asset details will allow users to get contextual information of an asset based on IP or Mac address from Landsweeper. So in the first task, we will detect all IP addresses present in context. After gathering all the IP, we will ingest in the lsip hunt command and it will retrieve assets based on the IP which we have fetched from context data. It is the same for hunt mac command. First, we will retrieve all the MAC addresses present in context. We'll ingest all the MAC addresses found from the ls hunt command and retrieve assets based on the MAC addresses which were found from the context. Lastly is the test playbook. The test playbook provides full end-to-end -end testing. Here we have included all commands along with the task for verifying the output result. First is ls site list, then ls ip hunt, Next is LS Mac Hunt, and lastly, verify outputs. Thank you for watching this demonstration of our Landsweeper integration with Cortex XSOR.